Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. We sell the entire line of Terry Warburton's fantastic Woody line of mutes. Now these mutes are very, very cool. If you look at them closely, they have a lot of intricate parts to them. Um, many, many pieces of wood. And he has eight different varieties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the mute available. So what I thought I would do is do a quick demonstration of each one and how they sound. Now I personally play a number seven, which is a, a cedar based uh, mute, but uh, you might find that you want a particular sound and like certain type of sound that I'm doing on this video. Now, one thing to know is that I these were all brand new mutes. So they haven't been shaved to fit the bell of this trumpet. This is an Adams A10 trumpet you'll get the best results if you do fit them with the trumpet bell once you do decide. But this will give you at least a little bit of a, a sample of how the mutes sound. So let's start right at the top. I have notes here because I, um, the first one is the maple. This is the TR one, maple. So I'm gonna play a clip of this and I'll try to play the same clip on each one. Here, lots of A sections to nostalgia. I always think of that tune as a classic cup tune because you heard Fats Navarro play that. If you haven't checked out that recording, you should. It's a nice sound, it's got good presence to it. They describe it as the following a dark, broad cup sound, good for symphonic and orchestral playing. So now we're moving to the second one, and this one is Walnut. So this has got a little bit mellower sound. cedar mute. The TR3 is Hickory. So Hickory's got a little bit more presence than the uh, previous one, which was the Walnut. Hickory, TR3. Again, you'll get better results once you shave the corks of these mutes, but I wanted to demonstrate them at least just right out of the, the box. TR4 is oak. Let's see if I'm putting that in the right way. Oak. So oak mute has, uh, in their description, is a nice warm cup sound with a little bit more projection. TR5 is pine, so you can see the, the lightness of the color. The other thing I love about these mutes, and, it's, and it might sound silly, maybe it's because we're trumpet players, we're normally used to like smelling something and going, ooh, this has a, here, scratch and sniff? No, not yet. It has beautiful aroma to it. All of the mutes have a beautiful aroma. So if we go down to pine. This is a resonant sound that can easily play at louder volumes without distorting. So if you need to play like in a big band, this might be a great choice. He's a little flat, but I'll work on that. TR6 is camphor. Again, a beautiful smelling mute. Uh, let's see what they describe. They describe this as a pretty sweet cup for lyrical playing. Mute. 
TR7, which is the mute that I personally play, is Cedar. Let's see how they describe that. This is not my mute, this is a new one. A uh, beautifully resonant cup sound, perfect for solo work. that was my favorite because it had a great richness to the sound. I'm not sure you can hear this on the video, but I hope you can. And lastly, we have the TR-8. Now, I have to be honest, they didn't put what the TR-8 is, and it's not on their site yet, so when I do get an update of this, I will put it in the, in the comments on the YouTube and Facebook pages. But here you go. So that's a demonstration of the Woody line of mutes. Now, we, uh, we have both the cup and the straight in stock. So you all you have to do is uh, go to our website at austincustombrass.com, order them. If you have a moment, hit that subscribe button. It's probably all gonna be over here, actually, to stay in tune, in touch with all of our YouTube updates. Thanks again for your fantastic support, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.